Hi guys, I'm the Lazy Tech Man and you're watching AstroTube. And as you may have gathered from the title screen there, I'm interested in looking at one of these guys, a little uncooled planetary camera. And what I want to know is, is it any good for doing DSO work? Um, so we're going to take a quick look um, at the uncalibrated data, uh, the calibrated data in the final result. And I just want to make this a, a quick video. So without further ado, we'll jump straight into PixInsight and we'll take a look at that raw data. Okay guys, right, here we are in uh, PixInsight and we're going to start off having a look at the raw uncalibrated uh, data uh, a single frame from this camera. As, as you can see there, um, there's not a lot of single signal Sorry, from this frame and there's quite a bit of noise. Um, to be honest, it's not too bad, especially given that it's uncooled. Uh, but again, there, there is quite a bit of noise compared to a cooled camera. Uh, that said, obviously, your typical uh, cooled camera, the, the kind of cheapest starting point you're looking at uh, is about £900 for a, a semi-decent one or about £1,200 £1, um, for a larger sensor. Um, this camera is about £350 so let's keep that in mind. Um, in terms of the calibrated data, so this next bit of data here we're going to look at is this is where the data has been um, stacked and calibrated in terms of its uh, had its bias, flats and its darks subtracted. Um, the initial results not too bad at all um, but if we go in we can see the noise from where it's been stacked. Uh, obviously that gets amplified to some extent and you can see it is very very noisy in the uh, background. Still perfectly reusable. Um, and zoom out there, okay. So the end result after some processing in PixInsight is this image here. And I think you will agree that the results are pretty damn good um, for an uncooled camera. If you have a zoom in at some of the uh, the detail, you can see there in the nebula cloud, there's no signs at all of any kind of background noise. It's all beautifully smooth. Um, and all the details being preserved. We've got obviously a lot of detail in the wall here. And in these like small filament regions, even right in the heart of the nebula, they're still present. So it still captured all the detail, and even on the, the faint uh, clouds here at the start of the wall. Um, looking at the north of the image, the top of it, sorry, um, we can see there that the really fine, faint detail has still been preserved, it hasn't been lost at all. Uh, so that's all been kept really nicely. Um, and then if we have a look at the, uh, the, the background image, you can see the kind of this the faint filaments of the red there. I'm not sure if this will show up on YouTube, but uh, there's the faint some faint filaments of red. Um, probably a little tiny uh, bits of hydrogen alpha there, maybe. Um, but when we zoom in, when we zoom in really far um, to the point where the stars are all pixelated. Um, we can see here the noise is gone. It's like pretty much completely gone. Now, I will say that to achieve this result, I did use two additional tools, um, which is the uh, blur exterminator and the noise exterminator um, in this image. And I can put my hand on my heart and say, they are some of the best tools I, I have uh, in PixInsight. They do a fantastic job, as you can see, um, to get rid of that noise. So to answer the question, can we use these little cheap planetary cameras for DSL work? Um, I would say absolutely yes. 
100%. Um, and given that that the image we're looking at there is only about two or three hours worth of data, um, I think it's an absolutely fantastic job. But I would like to know what you guys think. So if you want to leave uh, some comments down below and uh, let me know what you think of the results. Do you think it's done a good job? Um, especially given the price of these cameras. Um, would you use one? Let me know. Anyway, that's it for this video. I want to just keep it a quick short one. Um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, please. That would be really helpful to the channel. Uh, and if you're interested in any more of the videos, uh, hit that subscribe button. And uh, I'll be posting some new videos in there next week or two. So keep an eye out for them. And most of all, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. And uh, I'll catch you guys real soon. Bye-bye now.